In the next exam question, we have a 5 kilogram block resting on a rough horizontal table. It is connected by a light inextensible string passing over a light frictionless pulley to another block of mass 2 kilograms. The 2 kilogram block hangs vertically as shown in the diagram. A force of 60 newton is applied to the 5 kilogram block at an angle of 10 degrees to the horizontal, causing the block to accelerate to the left. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the 5 kg block and the surface of the table is 0.5. Ignore all effects of air friction. 2.1 says draw a labelled free body diagram showing all the forces acting on the 5 kg block for a total of 5 marks. Now remember for the free body diagrams we will always draw the dot with the vectors showing outward. Now this 5 kg block has a normal force. Gravity, tension, friction, and the force applied. We can also go and draw the components of the applied force in pencil. Now, seeing that this is a five mark allocation, we need to draw five vectors in total. 2.2 says calculate the magnitude of both the vertical component as well as the horizontal component for the 60 newton force. Now looking only at the applied force and its components, we can draw this in terms of a vector diagram. So what we're pretty much doing is taking Fy, cutting and pasting it to that side. This then allows us to apply some trigonometry where we can make use of sine and cos. Remember that the sine of theta is opposite over adjacent, which is my F of Y over my applied force. I can therefore see that the f of y would be equal to the applied force times the sine of theta. If we do the same for the cos of theta, remember that the cos of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, where my adjacent is the f of x and my hypotenuse is again my applied force. Now I can see that my f of x is equal to the applied force times the cos of theta. Therefore my y component is always my sine and my x component always my cos. Two point three says state Newton's second law of motion in waves. Two point four asks us to calculate the magnitude of the normal force acting on the five kilogram block for a total of two marks. Now, in order to solve the normal force, we have to have a look at all the vectors working in on my y plane. Here, I have both my normal force as well as my vertical component of my applied force working in upwards, and my f g, which is gravity, working in down. Applying Newton's second law, I can see that we have no acceleration in my y plane. Therefore, the net forces in my y direction would be equal to zero. I would take upwards as positive and downwards as negative. The vertical component we already calculated as 10.42 and gravity we can calculate by saying mass times gravity, which gives me a value of 38.58 Newton. 2.5 asks to calculate the tension in the string connecting the two blocks for a total of 7 marks. Now seeing that the mark allocation is 7 marks and we have two blocks connected with the string, we will have to make use of simultaneous equations. So we solve this problem by having a look at both the 5 kg as well as the 2 kg free body diagram. My direction of acceleration was said to be to the left and upwards, Therefore, I can take the vectors to the left and upward positive and the vectors to the right and downward as negative. I can now apply Newton's second law for both bodies. Now I can substitute my known components and rewrite both equations in terms of tension. I will now call this equation 1 and equation 2. 
Now I can set equation 1 equal to equation 2 to first solve acceleration. Now I can solve tension by either substituting acceleration into equation 1 or equation 2. Which gives us a tension of 25.37 Newton.